Alright, good morning everyone. Welcome back to Terraria, but not as you know it. What you're looking at right now is a video of the last episode, which had no uh, voice recording for whatever reason. It's fixed now and it should be good from now on, but this one I'm just going to have to voice over for the sake of it. I apologize, but nah, that's all good. So we start off with the Goblin Army. Happens pretty much exactly how you'd expect it to, except in the hard mode we have these new Goblin Summoners, which we'll get to. So here I've got uh, a ranger outfit on. I spent all the chlorophyte on the shot bow and on the armor. As you can see, the leaf crystal above is the set bonus that's shooting at things. It's pretty self-explanatory, I hope. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so I've gone for a bit of a ranger because I feel like it's going to be easier for the next fight. And you can see in my <clears throat> inventory, I well, I just picked up the bow then. I also got the dart rifle, which I used then, which I got from a corruption mimic when I was farming there for Souls of Night. And with the cursed darts, they actually do quite some damage. And if you shoot them like up in the air and it hasn't hit anything, it'll rain flames down. So it's actually quite good for AOE. But anyway, that was that. The summoner is just a bit of a harder hard mode enemy that has a chance to drop the knife, the bow, and the doll I believe it is. I got the bow which is all I really wanted. Did some fishing off camera, I got some double cod and damsel fish for calming potions and uh, ammo reservation potions, not respectively, so the opposite <laughs> one. Here I am just sorting my inventory, finding out which accessories I wanted to go through, which ones I want to keep and whatnot. Yeah, you can see on the right also, I've got the Architect Gizmo pack and the Magic Quiver in my second slot. Obviously, I'm not using mana, so I got rid of the uh, mana flower was I using. Uh, there I am showing off the Corruption farm I was using. We'll get a closer look right at the very end. But yeah, Architect Gizmo pack's just good for building, gives you range and whatnot. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? Speed in placing blocks and whatnot. Just bringing a bunch of potions. Because I also am planning to get some Icor. I actually did end up uh, searching it online. It is Icor, not Ica. For those of you who might have thought otherwise, it is Icor. <laughs> actually, I think it depends. But as you can see here, like how the rifle's working, I shoot in a straight line and then flames will. Uh, fall down from the dart as it's flying. It's really quite good. Shadow Flame has some pierce and applies the Shadow Flame debuff, which does five damage a second, which is really good. And the main reason I'm fighting the pirates here, by the way, it's it's at like five times speed or something. So you'll forgive me if I lose my train of thought. <laughs> but we are fighting the pirates because I didn't get a pirate. What do you call that thing? Ship. Anyway, I didn't get a pirate ship. And they have a chance to drop a really good mount, which I really want. I go through two pirate invasions and I don't actually get it in the end. But here's basically what I was doing for too long. <laughs> they drop a lot of gold. Like, you can see I started with like 39. And here it is, by the way, the um, Flying Dutchman. That's what it's called. I started with like 39 gold and end up with over a platinum. But this guy's pretty easy. You just have to kill all four of its cannons, which you can do with some piercing, which is why I use the uh, Shadow Flame bo uh, uh, bow. I heal and then immediately die to it anyway, lol. And there it goes, and you can see I got a relic for it and no uh, mount, which is called the Black Spot. It's quite good. I actually die a crazy amount. <laughs> it's kind of insane. But this is good, you know, we get two Dutchmans, whereas in the first one we got none, which is super unlike, I've never seen it happen before. But this one worked out a lot better. And as you can see, we get the Relic and no mount. Crazy how that happens, eh? This place is turning into a uh, <laughs> graveyard because of how many times I died. And I'm back up to, yeah, 80 gold instead of the however much I started with. They also dropped a gold ring, you can see there. I just put it in the bottom right corner there. Which is, increases pickup range of coins, I'm pretty sure. And it's very, very rare. You made a mega shark, you need a shark fins, gun parts, and the mini shark, and souls of might, so you need to kill the destroyer. I remember talking about how I would make it, but then probably didn't end up doing it because I was going to go mage, but 
since we've got the uh, ranger set, the ranger hood, might as well go for it, hey? This is just the second pirate, so I thought, you know, I was thinking about it and I was wondering how easy it would be to cheese. And the answer is very. <laughs> very, very easy. Pretty much AFK. Also dropped the Nimbus Rod, the uh, Angry Nimbus did, which is super rare. Not super rare, it's pretty rare. And overall, actually a pretty good weapon. Even if it is magic, you know, you can use it no matter what. It's like a sentry. You just put it there and then go back to using your bow. So here I am completely cheesing it. It is a little bit slower, I think. I don't know for sure. I should probably put some traps in there, actually. A little something to think about. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But, you know, I got the um, water candle going. To try and make it go faster. And then here, I, I'm closing things in the background because it was running slowly. <laughs> got another Dutchman, which is always good. Another chance. Another 25% chance to get the uh, black spot, the mount. 25%. I mean, and we've done it. This is the third one. He drops a cutlass, by the way, but 25% times 3 is 75%. So, by law, we have a 100% chance to get it the next time. I have no more pirate maps, though, so there is no next time. Nearly died of the only thing that can hit me through walls. And another unsuccessful uh, pirate invasion. Such is life. What are you going to do about it? So here I am making 1.4 Krim a small world, still in master mode, you know, I'm no cheater, and putting Crimson in it. Excuse me. First order of business, mining potion, put the uh, chisel on, get that. Look at that. You know, it, obviously it's sped up, but it was honestly very close to exactly this fast. And I'm not looting chests, you know, I'm not just going to make a bunch of worlds and loot chests. There's not much I want from a pre-hard mode world. So I just went through, I picked up a hard crystal along the way. Never know when that could come in handy. So, now we just need to uh, kill the wall of flesh, because Icor stickers only spawn in hard mode. So I'm looking at all the potions I need. Obviously, archery just got, you know, infinitely better now that I'm actually using arrows. It looks pretty open enough. I don't have any water walking potions to stand in the lava, so we're just gonna go for it and goodbye. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Didn't get the ranger emblem. Don't know if I would have used it if I did, but. Yeah, you know, it's a thought. So Mega Shark's a lot worse than I remember, by the way. So I might not end up using it. And here we go. You can see that guy there. That's an Icor sticker, and he dropped like four. So. I won't be here for too long overall. I mean, I'm not going to be here for long at all. The entire video is 13 minutes and I recorded for like an hour, so. But here especially shouldn't take too long at all. I'm just running around killing Mimics as well. Cross Necklace already had one. Don't know why I remember that specific drop, but hey. <laughs> and you get to check out all the uh, different enemies that we don't get to see because we've got Corruption instead of Crimson. They're Pretty much average, pretty whatever, to be perfectly honest, but... Now I'm pretty... yeah, ice tortoises, frozen turtles, no, ice tortoises is what they're called. They drop frozen turtle shells. Now, soon enough, you'll also see a, uh, yeah, you can see it up there, the Crimson Mimic, where I just like, okay, I see it, time to build an area so I don't get one shot by it. Because I do, I, mean, I only get hit by it once, I think. And it, it got very scary. So my spider activates it, and here we are just chasing back and forth. It has all the same attacks as you've seen before with Hollow and Corruption. But a much smaller area. And we get Life Drain, which is a mana... Sorry, magic weapon, which can attack all sorts of enemies around you and increases your health regen. Pretty good for AoE. Otherwise pretty bad. I activated a lava trap there, so I just left. And obviously it's really bad if you're going ranger, like obviously you don't want to use magic weapons. Yep, and we are back. Organizing some things, I think I show off the Icor uh, darts. All the darts have different effects. The crystal one bounces and pierces. 
and the icor one which i show it will split off okay you can't see it it happens too fast but you shoot one dart and then it splits into three so it's pretty cool i made a bunch of icor arrows because the next boss we're fighting is plantera and he is very susceptible to icor very as in any amount at all <laughs> you either are or you aren't and I don't think I've even explained Icor. What it does is it reduces enemy defense. Here I am looking up the... <laughs> that was me searching up how to pronounce Icor. <laughs> uh, look it up now. Icor debuff Terraria. Ah, uh, here I'm just about to kill the twins because I've got some dumb plan that doesn't end up working, but, you know. Icor reduces the defense by 20. And what that means is that you take one extra damage for every two defense missing. So like right now I've got 56 defense, which means everything that hits me does uh, 28 less damage. And so reducing their defense by 20 means every everything I do, every one of these arrows, every uh, spider I've got, I don't even know if I have spiders active at the moment, but uh, yeah, I don't. But all of them deal a flat 10 extra damage. Excuse me while I take a drink during this fight. You've seen it all before. I decided not to cheese it. I don't have the Meteor Staff and, you know, I'm way stronger than them now. There's no real reason for me to just sit in a box and uh, shoot out the sides. Though I could. Could make it work. I actually get kind of low in this one. I got a little bit cocky. Started using Holy Arrows. Not worth it. Actually noticeably less damage. Did I get close? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just that good. <laughs> so I made the half of the soul's sight. And its speed depends on how far away your cursor is. And it pierces, I think, infinitely. Looking up. Magic half. Magic cool harp, my bad. But I thought, hey, let's um do it again, get the magic set out, and then use the magic harp, and this will be so much easier. Rest assured, it, we fail. <laughs> we definitely fail. Wow. Each projectile lasts for four seconds before disappearing, dissipating and ricochets and pierces enemies an unlimited number of times until the time limit is reached. That's why it's really good against like the destroyer and whatnot. All this is easy so far. The Nimbus Rod helps a ton because you just put it on top of their spawn and they spawn and die. Most of them anyway. But then we get the dreaded dragons. I didn't even mean to alliterize there. Alliterize? Alliterate? Alliterate! Definitely alliterate. Turns out I'm illiterate. <laughs> anyway, I die, and yeah. I think I took like 250 in one hit. Whew. Anyway, I kind of, uh, what was I looking for? Yeah, I just rethink all my life choices here, like, how did I beat all mechanical bosses and still can't beat this one dumb, stupid <laughs> thing? But anyway, this is the corruption area here. I made it out of legion blocks. I think it looks really cool. I'm actually very proud of it. And I think that about ends it. Yeah, untitled, as you can see. So again, sorry about that. It shouldn't happen again. Now that I've fixed it, I unplugged my mic and then it changed the default and then I, I wasn't ready for it. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I have a lot of things planned for next one. I'll try and make it up for you. <laughs> and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.